Hello everybody and welcome back to the Forest Job. Before we get into today's match, Nottingham Forest against Chelsea in the Premier League, I'd uh, like to share with you a few highlights from the two previous games that we had against Borussia Dortmund and West Ham United. Uh, before we get into that though, I'd just like to remind you that if you enjoy today's video, please feel free to drop a like on it. It really does help. And as well as that, if you're new to the channel and you want to uh, not miss any other episodes that come out, then feel free to click on the subscribe button and also to click that notification bell just so that you're aware of whenever new videos are uploaded. Of course, we do go every weekday at 10.30 a.m. GMT. So with that out of the way, let's get into the highlights from the previous two matches that you weren't here for. And of course, we start with the game against Borussia Dortmund here at the city ground. And we uh, start off with Erling Haaland playing in his uh, strike partner, but we're able to get that one away before uh, Hernandez has it on the wing here, plays it back to Willems, who looks for Centurion. Hernandez has made a good run ahead of him. He's in the box. Looks like he could be in on goal here. Plays it to Hadji, and it's a great save by Berkey in the Borussia Dortmund goal. Akanji through to Suleimanov. Picked up by Worrell. Hadji plays it out wide to Wilson. Wilson's got men ahead of him. Plays in Hernandez, who skips away from his man. Turns, shoots on his left foot. But it's not going to beat Berkey in the Dortmund goal this time. Schultz now rides the challenge of Hadji. Gets the ball back. Wilson looking to make a challenge. Lovely, lovely move from Schultz. Plays it into Erling Haaland. Turns on the ball. Can he get the shot away? No, it's a great tackle from Worrell. And now Kabayi springs a counter-attack. Hadji out to Willems on the left-hand side. Back inside to Hadji, who'll look up and see two men advancing down the left-hand side. He finds Willems again in acres of space. Can he find a ball into the middle? Hernandez! Oh, he can't quite find him. But it's a lovely chance. Now Centurion inside to Kabayi. He's got men to his right. Oriol Busquets picks it up. Forward to Hadji. Into Hernandez. Turns his man. Can he get a shot away? Oh, so close! For the Forest centre forward, you can see his disappointment there as the ball's played into him. Holds it up very nicely, turns his man and manages to get the shot away and it's just a whisker wide. Now Willems, crossfield ball, cut out by Schultz who will look to play it forward and he finds Haaland early. Jaden Sancho to Delaney, Delaney looking up, men running forward, can he find a pass? Haaland again, left footed, oh it's a great save, brilliant save by Newbolt. And now Wilson will get it clear. No, they've got it back. Wilson is going to play the ball through. Suleimanev. Another great save. A corner kick here to Borussia Dortmund. Guerrero swings it in. Haaland over it. And it just goes over the post. Safwick looking for the cross. Deflected. Dealt with. Harry Wilson, though, plays it over to Centurion. He's got someone on the left-hand side. He's looking to find him. He's been bundled off of the ball though and that's going to be a free kick and a yellow card I'll we'll have a look at the replay here and you see here Delaney all over his man and so now Nottingham Forest with a chance from the free kick I suspect they'll want to get Harry Wilson on this indeed they do might be the wrong side for him but he loves these kind of opportunities from this kind of distance he's going to have a crack at it it's over the wall oh it's hit the crossbar and Forrest are very unfortunate not to be ahead here. Sifuik with the ball. Can he find it? No, he can't find the ball in. And it's just going to go out of play. And there's the half-time whistle. A brilliant first half of football. So here we are starting the second half. Pieri to Akanji at the back. Borussia Dortmund looking to play it sensibly. Witzel. Now Guerrero. Throw in to Akanji, who finds Delaney centrally. He's got options ahead of him, four of them. Very attacking, sets up. Haaland on the shot! And Newball manages to save it with some ease. And that's a brilliant throw from the German goalkeeper. Out to Busquets. Now Harry Wilson on the right-hand side. Looks like he's got Zafuik in support. Turns his man lovely inside of him. Yes, lovely through, through ball. Zafuik, can he find the cross? Hernandez underneath it. It's loose in the area. And it's run all the way through. Good chance for Forrest, though. Mason Greenwood. 
Willems manages to get the ball off of him. Plays it centrally to Hadji. He finds Hernandez. Oh, he could have run through there, but he plays it back to Centurion instead. Centurion down the wing for Hernandez. Men in the box if he can find one. Hadji! Oh, it's so close. A real chance for Hadji on his head. And he's burned it. Akanji from the goalkeeper played short. Hernandez very nearly on top of it. They're playing a dangerous game here at Borussia Dortmund. Now Guerrero on the right-hand side finds Mason Greenwood, who's recently come on. A little bit of a miscommunication there, but Guerrero has it back. Will he go inside or out? Looks like he's going inside. Manages to ride Kabayi's challenge. Here's Delaney. Will he take a long shot? He will. Oh, it's a good save again from Nubel. On top of his game today, the German international. Two substitutes on. Looks like Forrest have gone slightly more attacking now, with Malejo joining in an attacking midfield where there was just Hadji before. Here's Delaney. Brandt to Greenwood. Out to Guerrero, swung in, dangerous ball. And Haaland very nearly scoring there. Time is starting to press now. If one of these teams are going to win it, they'll have to win it soon. Here's Harry Wilson on the right-hand side. Can he find a cross? No, Berkey, big and strong, able to reach the ball there. Forrest win it back, though. Here's Jetro Willems playing a little bit more centrally than perhaps his manager would like to see him. Kabayi into Hernandez. Victor Malejo recently on, as you know. Ball over the top, Hernandez! Oh, what a chance for Hernandez! And that could be the last chance of the game. What a chance! Now Mason Greenwood, tackled by Willems. Can Malejo do something here? Looks to play it through, can't quite manage it. Does win the ball back, and now Hloshek on the left-hand side. Delaney dispossessing Kabayi, he'll look to get it forward, but it's too little, too late. The full-time whistle has gone, and it's nil-nil here at the city ground. So there are the stats for the game. Very, very even game, pretty happy with how we played. And uh, the rating's not too bad either. Some of the rest of the results and here is how the table finished with us top it really was a dead rubber game but Borussia Dortmund playing for pride they gave it their all so did we and now here we have the uh, the highlights of West Ham versus Nottingham Forest at the London Stadium this is a more traditional package of uh, highlights I just recorded the end of game highlights but you can see early on Yarmolenko was giving us some issues down this right hand side very strong and hit the post with that effort excellent opportunity for them to go ahead and eventually Samba got back in possession of the ball, claimed it greedily like a fat kid with chocolate cake. Declan Rice then had an opportunity to put West Ham ahead on the 15-minute mark, but put that one wide as well. And Declan Rice again, unusually for the defensive midfielder, he was in amongst the chances for West Ham, but uh, a good tackle by Zafuik meaning that he wasn't able to get anything off of that. And then from the resulting corner, a great save by Samba, which Zafuik dealt with after it was parried by his goalkeeper. And then finally, we had an opportunity. It took 45 minutes, but it was Nyangbo who was playing for a, a, a very much depleted Hernandez, stamina-wise. And then we really grew into the game from there. Loshek with an opportunity from just inside the penalty area which you can see was well saved by the goalkeeper, Fabianski. I think it was Fabianski playing. I could be wrong. And then we made the breakthrough. 71 minutes, Arkas into Niang Bo. He took an awkward bouncing ball and dispatched it into the bottom left-hand corner. A really nice take for the striker who... It's, it's up in the air as to whether he's going to be with us much longer. But if he can keep producing performances like this, when he's given the opportunity, then I've got no problem. Uh, unfortunately, then, on the 89th minute, Jared Bowen, with an assist from Mikel Antonio, managed to draw themselves level. It was probably not the finest hour for Samba. But then we went right up the other end, and wouldn't you know it, Harry Wilson. I don't know what the West Ham defence were doing here, but I'm not going to complain. He managed to just about squeeze it in off of the left-hand post. It was a chance that probably he made harder for himself. 
But you have to appreciate that harrying. Look at him. He's chasing the ball all over the place. And he gets his reward, slotting it into an empty net with the help of the upright. And that's how it ended. 2-1 to Nottingham Forest. You can see we were actually the underdogs in terms of chances. But we did have more of the ball. Nyangbo getting the man of the match. 7.5 out of 10. He deserves that. So here we are now with the main event. It's Nottingham Forest versus Chelsea. And... Uh, You'll probably tell that I'm recording this after the fact. I already know the result, uh, but I'm hoping that you guys enjoy my as-live commentary. I'm going to do my best to give you the live experience. Just looking through to see if any changes could be made. Um, I'm going to bring Frimpong onto the bench, perhaps. No, I'm not. I've completely forgotten what I did in this match. Well, that's good news, because this will be probably as good a live com as I've ever given. Certainly from a quality point of view, I've never sounded better. So here we go. It is Nottingham Forest versus Chelsea in the Premier League. And we're doing pretty well, it has to be said. Off of the back of that win against West Ham, we are now ninth in the league. We're climbing again. And uh, although our goal scoring is still a bit of an issue, we are trying out a slightly new um, formation this week. We're uh, playing a 4-5-1, which you won't see because I always skip over the pre-match stuff. But uh, the, the wing forwards have been dropped into left and right midfield roles. And uh, we're actually playing very, very counter-attacking. We're sitting very deep, hoping to take advantage of uh, space in behind our opposition. As uh, Timo Werner picks up on the ball very quickly, but Arkas is able to get to it and dispossess him. Now Busquets over to Bremer and uh, Arkas and you can see that uh, already we have a lot of players that are uh, angled at 90 degrees to us there's an early chance opens up for Hernandez but he can't get his head to it Centurion oh it's an early chance for Centurion here oh he's dispossessed by Rudiger what an opening that could have been for us Kante to Adama Traore who was signed for Chelsea from Wolverhampton Wanderers and what an absolute powerhouse of a player he is we're going to have to do very well to keep him quiet today a long ball forward Worrell underneath it Werner manages to force him into a slight mistake but we're able to mop up and uh, away we come with the ball again so yeah the, the idea of this tactic really is to invite play onto us and then try to hit them on the break unfortunately as you can see here Chelsea are uh, very defensively astute and they get back very quickly as well so it's going to be a difficult one for us going to have to use all of our guile and wit to try and make chances as Willems gets the ball on the left hand side for the throw in plays it into Arkas who does have Busquets inside of him and he finds him Hadji loses the ball and now Timo Werner and Pulisic the American wonder are going to come forward with the ball Havertz plays the ball backwards unusual for him normally a very positive player Here's Christensen, ball up the side of the pitch, which is dealt with by the fullback. Chelsea have the ball back though. And here's Jorginho. Can he do anything with it? He finds Albert on the left wing. Back inside to Pulisic. They're building patiently here. And this is where we could have trouble. Pulisic inside, but Hadji, thankfully, due to the way that we're defending now, where we're forcing teams down the middle and we're really playing a compact style of defence meaning that they have real trouble getting past us we do tend to mop up a lot of balls as Hernandez wins the ball coming back from uh, the centre forward position which I've told him not to do as often and away we come Harry Wilson with uh, Safuik bombing down the wing and here he goes Christensen will have to deal with this and he deals with it by putting it out for a throw in to Nottingham Forest immediately the ball comes into Wilson will he go for the uh, cross? he does but with the outside of the foot, it's not as accurate as like. Here's the freak. Can he find a better ball? He can. Hernandez, unfortunately, though, not running into it, but rather away from it. And uh, the goalkeeper more than able to deal with that effort as uh, James plays a, a lovely ball in field to Kai Havertz. And that's a good ball up front to Timo Werner. Can Chelsea do something with this? Well, that's a good header from Bremer. Chelsea are going to pick it back up, though. Hernandez coming all the way back and I wish I'd left him up now because Arcas has won that ball plays it through to Hernandez got options on the wing and he finds Harry Wilson free in the middle what can Wilson do with this plays one in on his left peg can't find a man that does retain possession of the ball here's Arcas Willems out on the left now stretching play lovely 
Hernandez can't win the header. Centurion, Hadji. And all breaks down for Forrest just outside the penalty area. But it's encouraging signs for the team in red. As Busquets picks it up in the centre and moves it out to Arcas, who's got options outside. That's a lovely through ball to Centurion, but he's wasted it on the first time shot. Perhaps he had time, we'll see from the replay. Arcas with a beautiful through ball. Cutting Chelsea in twain. But then Centurion, with time on the ball, decides for the first time effort and puts it woefully wide. That'll be a missed opportunity that he'll rue for some time as Rudiger restarts play from the back. Passes the ball into his fullback, James. It's come back to Rudiger. He moves it centrally to Jorginho. Long ball up the middle. Werner wins the ball into Adama Traore. We said we'd have to watch out for him. Williams picks it up and he's going to do his best to try and uh, get the ball to safety. And uh, well, that's very, very confident play from the left fullback there. He knew he had space behind him, but not that much. He had to be very good with his use of the ball. And now Harry Wilson on the right hand side. Busquets in the middle. Arcas, plenty of space beside him, and he does find him. Arcas to Centurion, back to Arcas. Is he going to go for another ball? He does. Centurion's in again. Harried, and Harry Wilson has put it away. It's a goal for Harry Wilson. That's two goals he scored in as many Premier League matches now. And he looks pleased at punch with his effort. It's a great pass inside for Centurion. He went with a little bit more time this time. He tried to find the finish. But when the goalkeeper carried it away, there was only one man anywhere near it. Harry Wilson with the easiest of finishes, although he very nearly fluffed his lines. Mendy just about missing it as he dives across his goal. And Nottingham Forest lead Chelsea one goal to nil. Now Chelsea really have a mountain to climb because with this particular formation that Forest are playing, they don't like giving up chances very easily. James down the wing, he's going to look for a cross. Centurion doing his homework, coming back and defending well. And this could be a break for Forrest. Hadji has it in the middle. Hernandez ahead of him. Arcas to the left. Centurion cutting inside. Actually, it's Hernandez. Pardon me. Chelsea just about managed to get away with it. And that's how it will end at half time. It's Nottingham Forest, the home side, 1 0 ahead against Chelsea in what could be couldn't see as something of an upset if it wasn't for the fact that Forrest absolutely loved playing against the big teams. I think they absolutely lost the first half, four chances, three on target. Chelsea with just the one effort. You see how uh, Nottingham Forest can do in the second half. I don't think we'll make any changes. We'll move straight along to that second half. And we'll start right now. As Christensen takes the ball from the kickoff, eventually it finds its way out to Jordi Alba. Wilson is in two minds whether to go and press his man. He does end up doing so. You see, there's the benefit again of having that narrow defensive formation. They try playing through you with quick one-twos, and unless they're super accurate, they're going to find a red shirt. Arcas into Busquets. He's got Wilson outside of him and he does find him. Cuts inside again, he's looking for the overlapping run of the fullback. That could put us in a little bit of trouble there as we've lost the ball. Here's James. Bernardo Silva. James again. Crossed into the middle. Werner on the. Ooh, that's an excellent opportunity for Werner. An acrobatic effort. And unfortunately for him, it's gone over the bar. Being a bit more adventurous with our out ball, and this time it's cost us possession as Jordi Alba picks up the 50-50 ball. Havertz moves it out to James again. Plenty of men ahead of him, but it's whether or not he can find one. And there we have again, Hadji wins the ball. Bernardo Silva on the foot. Oh my word, what a goal by Bernardo Silva. 
Well, he had very little time to set himself, but he's curled an absolute beauty into the left-hand side of the goal. He left Samba no chance whatsoever. And his teammates congratulate him on what is an absolutely superb effort. See here, Hadji nearly won the ball, but unfortunately it broke unkindly for him. Chelsea were able to get it into the feet of the goal scorer, and well, the rest is history, unfortunately. Bernardo Silva with a wonderful curling placed effort on his left foot. It's annoying to concede, but if you're going to, that's not a bad goal to concede to. So we're back to square one. Centurion on the left-hand side finds Hadji centrally, who moves it out for Wilson on the right-hand side. Still got plenty of width in this formation, despite defending more narrow. As we play one into Zafuik, he gets free of his marker. Can he find a cross into the box? He can. And then there's just unable to beat his marker, though. And now Wilson flighting one in. Centurion on the header. The goalkeeper pulls him offside, and that's going to result in a free kick to Chelsea midway inside the penalty box. Mendy to restart, plays it short to James. Chelsea playing out from the back, confident in their ability to hold on to the ball, and frankly, who can blame them given the fact that we are pretty much, we're ceding the entire Chelsea half to them. The only player, oh, there's a chance here for Pulisic, she's in on goal. Good save by Samba, second effort by Pulisic, saved by Samba as well. Well... You can see there what I was talking about, with only one player in their half, the only real drawback of this formation is if they do manage to get one over the top and one of their players gets their head onto it. And they've exposed that because they've got so much time that they can essentially play two ball-playing defenders at the centre of their defence and just look for those accurate through balls over the top and then just try to nod them on. All right, Busquets, plenty of players around him. They're all making themselves available, which is lovely to see. Hadji making the run, but not quite finding himself on the end of the pass. Now here comes Havertz. Out wide to Jordi Alba, and he makes the forward run. We'll keep an eye on him. Wilson marking his man, forcing him into a backward pass. Ball over the top. Goalkeeper punches. Bremer won't be happy about that. He felt that he had it covered. Pulisic cuts inside, Werner, can Werner score? Oh, it's a great save by Samba. I would have been furious if we conceded to another one of those. Back to goal, spin, hit, goal. That seems to be the only way the AI knows how to score. I say that fully knowing that we've conceded different types of goals than that, but there we go. Uh, James with the corner, plays it to Kante short, across the edge of the box, Jordi Alba. Good move of the ball here. Pulisic couldn't escape his markers, had to play it out again. Here's Alba. Can he find a cross? Worrell does a great job in coming across, identifies the danger and gets rid. Arkas. Busquets. Plenty of attention from the Chelsea players now. They're pushing high up the pitch, looking for a break where they can find that second goal. Arkas. And this could be that break. Werner plays it back to Havertz and straight back to the defender. Possession's not hurting us here, but uh, it is allowing their other players to get into possession. But then when they play balls like that and we're able to take possession so easily, I don't mind at all. Arkas, ooh, we might have lost it there. No, Worrell picks it up, plays it across to his central defensive partner, Bremer. Out to Willems. Now Centurion. Oriol Busquets. Hadji. Can he find a through ball? Oh, he's found a beautiful one. Oh, my word. Fernandez not far off of finding himself on the end of the rebound there. And again, maybe I had a second touch that I could have taken there. A silver whips one in, Worrell's underneath it. Can he deal? Yes, he can. Fantastic. Not the best clearance from Wilson, however. We're going to have to defend this. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to get used to the fact that, especially at this level, he can't hit first time, finishes all the time, but there's a chance here, but Bremer manages to get the ball away. It's a scramble, but it's one of the calmer scrambles that we've had. Christensen, Jorginho, Chelsea really pushing now, almost everyone in the Forest half. 
Ball played into Werner. Can he get it through? He takes the shot rather than looking for the pass, and it's cost them. Centurion just knocks it out to where he knows Willems will be. Gets it back from the wing back. Hadji, there's an overlap here. Oh, no. Wilson was just making his run on the right, and perhaps I should have fed him in. And there we go, it's the end of the game, and I have not made a single substitution in that match. I was thinking about making one around the 80th minute, but then we didn't have another break in play for me to be able to put it into practice. One all, not a bad result on reflection, but having taken the lead, it is a disappointment to see that, you know, that, that equalising goal. Uh, Chelsea really grew into it in the second half. They pulled away in terms of shots and chances made. Had slightly more of a ball, but overall, I'd say... I'm pretty happy with a draw, given that Chelsea, looking at those stats, probably should have won. So anyway, we'll have a look at the ratings for the teams. And, uh, well, Hadji getting a 4.5, which is a little bit of a shame. He's, he's still getting used to playing so far ahead of everyone else. And, of course, Bernardo Silva with the man-of-the-match performance, having scored the equalising goal. And what a peach of a goal it really was. Can't have any complaints with that one there. So anyway, that's all we have for you from the city ground. As we look at the other scores in the Premier League, feel free to pause the video to have a look at your teams. Arsenal with a 1-0 win over Tottenham Hotspur. Brilliant win for Arsenal, given that last time out they lost 3-0. And uh, Liverpool and Everton with three goal wins. Leicester City beating Newcastle by three goals to as well. Let's have a look at the Premier League table. You can see that we are still in ninth place. We're level on points with Manchester United. And uh, Fulham, inexplicably, are five points ahead of us both. We have a three-point lead over Leicester, Wolverhampton and West Brom. Liverpool are really stretching their lead and scoring goals for fun. 41 goals in 17 games, but they have finally lost the game. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. We'll have a quick look at the bottom of the league before we leave today. Just waiting. There we go. And you can see that Sheffield United and Newcastle, they're battling bravely at the bottom of the table. But what is going on with Burnley? Three points from the entire season so far. They've only won one game and they've lost every other game. 16 games they've lost. That's absolutely atrocious. Can you imagine? Well, anyway, that'll do for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like. Till next time, thank you very much for watching. Take care, and uh, I'll see you soon. We're probably going to come back for the FA Cup match against Arsenal. So uh, until then, have a good one. Bye-bye.